class so today we will continue our lecture on chapter one which is about the hierarchy of biological organizations so life can be studied at different levels from molecules until the entire living planet and the study of life can be divided into different levels of biological organizations and biological organization can be divided into two levels um, which are the first one is organism level and another one is ecological level so organism level start from the atom until the organism meanwhile ecological level start from the organism until the biosphere so let's look first on the organism uh, level so organism level um, start from the atom and the atom will make up the molecules the molecule will make up the organelle all the organelle um, are contained inside the cells and a group of cells um, working to get um, group together um, to become to make up the tissue and tissue will make up the organs and a set of organs having their own function in a system called as an organ system and then we have um, last but not least is the living thing which refer to the organism so let's look one by one on the definitions of each level uh, each part in the organism level so atom atom is the smallest chemical unit of an element that still retains the element's properties so inside atom um, they are building blocks um, which um, are the electrons um, negative charge the proton which carry the positive charge and neutrons with the uh, with no charge at all an atom is still a non-living thing example of atom is oxygen atom carbon atom and etc so for molecules molecule is a chemical structure that consists of two or more joint atoms of the same element or atom with different element so molecules of life um, when we refer to the molecules of life it's actually referred to the carbohydrates the lipids the protein dna and rna that um, can only be produced by the living cells however molecule is still a non-living thing such as chlorophyll molecule and oxygen molecule next we have organelle Organelles is the function uh, are the functional components present in cells. They are also non-living things such as the chloroplasts that carry out the photosynthesis and mitochondria that carry out the uh, aerobic respiration. Next is cell. Cell, as we know, is the basic unit of life, and it is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism. And cell is a living thing some are unicellular uh, which have has has only a single cell like a bacteria and some like human are multicellular which has many cells examples of cell are smooth muscle cells and leaf cells and when a cell group together they will make up a tissue so tissue is made up of a group of cells that will work together performing a specialized function for an example muscle tissue is for uh, contraction okay for muscle contraction so each tissue has their own uh, distinct cellular structure example is leaf tissue and smooth muscle tissue next we have organ okay organ is made up from a tissue that um, and it is a body part that carries out a particular function inside the body example is the plant organ um, such as the leaf the root flowers and stem meanwhile for human organs we have the kidney the stomach the intestine uh, the brain and etc 
Next is that organ system. Organ system is a team of sets of organs that will cooperate together to perform a larger functions. Example, in plant organ system, they may uh, they have a shoot system and root system. Meanwhile, in human, we have a cardiovascular system, for an example. And actually, there are about 10 organ system in human body which are muscular system, skeletal system, circulatory system, nervous system, lymphatic, reproductive, excretory, digestive, endocrine, and also respiratory system. And last but not least for um, organismal level is that the organism. We want to have the organism which refer to the individual living things. Organisms such as the tree, the cat, a dog, and human itself. Okay, so all of the structure of um, the cells, the organelles, the tissue, the organ have their own specific function. Okay, therefore, structure and function of living things are closely related. For example, a leaf. The structure of a leaf is thin and flat. Therefore, the function is that to maximizing the capture of light by chloroplasts. Okay. Next, we're gonna look into the ecological level. Ecological level that starts from the organism, population, goes to community, ecosystem, and thus make up the biosphere. Okay, so let's look one by one into the ecological level. So the first organism, as I mentioned earlier, is the individual living things. And then a group of organisms that live together, um, a group of organisms with the same species that live together in that certain area is called as a population. Example, a population of human, a population of maple trees, and etc. And then, when they are uh, two, um, uh, two types of population or more than two, for an example, a population of cat and a population of human, when they are living together in one area, we call it as a community. Okay, for an example, um, in the forest, we have a population of birds, the deer and the tiger that live in, in that specific area. Next is ecosystem. So ecosystem consists of living things in a particular area and along with the non-living thing components of the environment. For uh, this one is referred to the interaction between the living things such as the human, trees, um, animals with the non-living things such as water, um, the soil, the rocks, okay, and this interaction make up the ecosystem. Such uh, example of ecosystem um, is pond, okay, and um, forest, river, and etc. Last but not least is that all of this ecosystem will make up the biosphere. Therefore, biosphere consists of all life on earth and all the places where the living things is exist okay and all of the ecosystem will combine in that biosphere okay to provide a place for a living things um, to um, to survive example is the earth itself okay so therefore all of the arrangement of each level and the interaction of each part within a system will produce an emergent properties. So emergent properties also can characterize the non-biological part as well. For example, a functioning bicycle may emerge only when all the parts connect together and work in a correct way. Okay, and another example is that for cell itself, it only can emerge when all the parts 
inside the cell which refer to the organelles connect and work together in a correct way so today you have learned already about the um, biological um, the hierarchy of the biological starting from the atom molecules okay after the atom molecule we have the organelles the cell organism and then uh, from the organism it goes to the population which is referred to the group of organisms organism live together and then we have a community ecosystem and the biosphere okay that's all for today class thank you